I found a place in the central region of Ghana that no one is talking about. On Google Map, it looks like this, but in reality, what I found will surprise you. If you follow my recent videos in the central region of Ghana, we visited towns like Winneba, Breku, Cape Coast, and this time, we're visiting one of central region's closest community and luxurious beachfront resorts close to the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> I always get inspired by a code before traveling to a specific location. On this particular trip, the code goes like this. Travel when you are young. Money comes back, but time doesn't. It took us a three hours drive from the resting region of Ghana to Anomabo in the central region of Ghana. Now, Anomabo is located 12 kilometers east of Cape Coast in the central region of South Ghana. It's located on the main road to Accra and definitely a place you can miss to visit. Anomabo meaning stone for bed or bed rock. It's a history thing, so I'll leave the history link in the description below so you can read more about this place. I personally didn't expect such luxury and nature in this part of central region Ghana. So when I had the opportunity, the first thing I could do was explore this bed rock. And I didn't notice how big and beautiful what I was standing on till I took this shot. From above, I noticed it wasn't just one bedrock, but was rather a thin in the town with several of these. I quickly did a research on why Anomabo had plenty of this bedrock and a hidden gem I spotted and will share with you before the end of the video. The skyline of Anomabo was one I barely see. And from where I stood, which is the popular Anomabo Beach Resort, I could see the Anomabo community overlooking the Atlantic Ocean. From history, Anomabo had long been a coastal trading center before it was established as a slave trading port which caused the town to rise to prominence in the 17th century. The main occupation for Anomabo inhabitants is fishing, with farming being the second most popular occupation in the community. Other occupations in Anomabo include trading as well as various artisan jobs. Now back to the popular beach resort, the surrounding was very nurturing with ample spaces for you to sit and dine, accommodations after a long day fun experience and this will be my recommendation if you visit the central region of Ghana or Anomabo.
here's what our breakfast looked like and this was a thing. If you're a coconut lover, just know that the juice here is unlimited. It's a nice place and to be honest, uh, this place is uh, very very highly recommended for anyone who is just uh, looking for a serene getaway. Like come on, like and it's, it's just in the morning, it's kind of, I mean, you can't just see anyone. This is my style, this is my style, of, well, this is my lifestyle, like I don't really like uh, places with lots of people. So somewhere like this is heaven for me. Now back to our research, what I found about this bedrock all lead back to the years when an hunter first discovered the area and decided to settle there with his family, eventually starting his own village as time passed. The hunter allegedly saw some bears atop a rock and proclaimed the area Obonoma, which became the town's original name. Obonoma literally translates to bed's rock, a name that slowly evolved into Anomabo over the years. And as years passed, those who settled in this community continued the legacy of the town by creating more of this bedrock since it doesn't only benefit the beds but also contribute to the community's aesthetic appeal. And if you're wondering what hidden gem you can find here, it is the Anomabo Castle, renamed Fort William in 1830s, designed by the British engineer and constructed between 1753 and 1760. There's a lot of untapped history about this community and I can't wait to explore more. Now this brings us to the end of our videos and I'll leave more of the detailed information in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Bye.